Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, while I was crocheting the border of the cardigan, you know, when you work on something, clink, ding, something pops in my head and I say, I have to do this. So this is what happened. While I was looking to find this brown uh, cotton yarn in my uh, stash, I found these remember I was saying that it's thread on my previous tutorial so what I did is I did a couple of plies and I finished it finished the job so what I thought while I was looking for brown I found these colors see these are the same color on the motif so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the edge here on the neck area on the front and go from there isn't it brilliant and this way I can use up these from my stash okay so uh this technique i don't know if it's out there or not i'm just making this up as it just popped in my head <laughs> so i'm gonna work it on the front okay so uh i don't have much so i'm thinking of starting from here somewhere yeah let's start from here and then we'll go from there well i'm um, I'm just going to make a a loop like this and I'm hoping that one row would be enough and I'm gonna do single crochets okay because of this double crochet is already giving me the height so I am going to start crocheting and I'm going to do the same on each color that I just showed. I have the green and I have the, I have the turquoise. So I'm just going to crochet single crochet. Okay, this way I will use up this yarn and I don't have to worry. I'm sure I have more of those colorful ones, but I don't have any of this. So I want to use it up. And this way I can put my own signature on this garment. So I'm just going to crochet, single crochet, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm crocheting. <laughs> oh, I am like this, believe it or not. I am going to crochet all the way to the end, finish all the yarn. Uh, that's why I don't have what you call it uh, leftover yarn because I used okay this is not going to be enough I tried but it didn't work so I will do a slip stitch <laughs> here just like this and then secure it so I will weave it okay so uh, it's okay I don't have to worry about it so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come back and start. Oh, which one should I start with? Let's start with the light green this time. I have the light green right here. This time I'm going to start, I don't know, five. I'm not even counting two, four, five right here. So just a little bit further. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do single crochets until I finish all the yarn and this way I can uh, make something different give a nice texture give a nice look uh, put my own signature on it and then go from there and I still have my um, yarn here that I've been crocheting with this color so when I have to, when I finish with these three colors, what I'll do is I'll just continue crocheting uh, with that uh, beige color till I have enough uh, rows. Okay, so I'm just going to continue crocheting until I finish this and we'll go from there and I'll be right back just like this. See, it gives that uh, short row effect. 
I don't know if there's uh, short rows on crochets. I have no idea, but well, here it is. Here's a short row. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to start with the third color. I went uh, pretty down th on this one because I finished and I think I have plenty of yarn. So I am going to start from here and I will use up the entire yarn that I have. And I will just show you how it looks like so far. Continue crocheting, single crochet. So this is the third color. And I love to crochet and weave at the same time. Okay, and then what I do is I just continue crocheting this, double crochets. Just like this. So when I come here, I don't go in here. Well, I have to go in there because the other one is like a chain. And then I come here and I just continue. See, there's no holes, nothing. Continue making my double crochets. Okay, this is how it looks like. I will continue crocheting this and I will finish. And here, how this looks. See? Doesn't this look nice? Yeah. So let me finish this green. And I will crochet with a little bit of the beige. And I will give you an idea how it looks like. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've been crocheting nonstop. And I'm just getting so excited. And look how this looks. <laughs> I just love it. Can you see the short rows? How it's turning out i wish i had more brown right i could have put it there but oh well i used up the yarn that i have so that's a good thing right so i just wanted to share you this my excitement <laughs> so i'm going to keep on crocheting i will keep i don't know maybe one more row and then i'm going to change my yarn to this and I will finish this entire ball. That's my goal is because I'm going to do the edge on the uh, on the hem as well. I will do a single crochet and I will do reverse uh, single crochet. Okay. See how it looks. Let me just uh, show you how it looks close up. Look. Can you see the short row? You can't even feel it. You can't even, you know, it's it's uh, not even noticeable look. So I just continue crocheting. So here's one a new technique. I don't know if this is out there or not, if anyone did a tutorial. But uh, yeah, these designs, these things comes to my mind while I am uh, working on a project. And this is so long, I'm sorry. <laughs> got tangled on the tripod here so uh, I continued crushing until I used up the entire here I used up up to here and I used up this one and see how this looks I just played around you know until the yarn was finished yeah you can uh, you don't have to work on you know borders like this you can make blankets scarves use this using this technique and then going on from there so I hope you liked this short tutorial. I just wanted to share you my idea on how you can use up the yarn. And it looks fantastic. Just love it, love it, love it. Yeah. 
and you can see that the front is closing up so that's another way to you know work on uh yeah uh let me see i'm just i'm gonna continue looking so i can work this on the on the sleeves hem as well to give that this nice technique i really like these three colors brown uh green and uh, turquoise it, it just looks nice okay I will let you guys go and I'll see you on my next uh, video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time I post a new video you will be verified uh, happy crocheting bye bye